to your point at Grimsby, just give me your assessment of that game. Yeah, very even, even game, really. Um, two set pieces basically equaled the game. Um, very tight game, scrappy game. You couldn't really get a foothold in the game, to be honest. Um, but managed to get a point, good, showed good carry to come back and um, yeah, we'd move on to the next one. Um, it's not what we came here to get. Um, we wanted obviously all three points and like I say, it was just difficult to get any rhythm into the game because it was so stop start and every little single thing was a little foul. So, Yeah, you know, I think it was a tough game for us. They threw a lot at us. You know, we had to deal with a lot in the box and really had to battle. Um, definitely wasn't our cleanest performance, but you can see the resilience there to keep fighting all the way to the last minute and, and to get a point out of the dead. Again, I think disappointing is probably the word that comes to mind. Um, after Friday, such good performance. Go for it. And it's just maybe try to find that consistency uh, week in, week out, and sort of game in, game out. Um, I think that's what's let us down, not only today, but probably throughout the season. So, some of that we need to address and some of that we need to work on. But again, there's, there's, there's positives to take from the game today, although we weren't our best. Look, one of the positives is the sort of resilience we're shown. We saw when the ball, would, when the game being soft balls, we were going to play yourself included, we're chasing that ball back to get the game started up again. How important was it to keep that tempo up? Yeah, I think it's something that's probably never questioned in our changing rooms. Um, we always work we always work hard and, and sort of give 100% every game. Um, so that side sort of can't be can't requested. Sometimes we lack quality and, and sort of the decision-making at the, at the right time. But again, that's something we all need to work on. And if we get better at that, then we probably find that more consistent um, performance that, that we're sort of looking for. Yeah, exactly that. When you when you go behind, um, it fails a good strike from the lad. Um, yeah, it's just getting restarts, trying to get our game going. Um, even though a couple of restarts, we got pulled back to take it to you for three, four, five yards away, and um, just couldn't get any r- rhythm in with the game, um, which allows them to set back up, get back in the shape, get back in the position. Yeah, it was just a difficult game all around. Um, very tight affair, but um, but then the ones you get when you come to places like Grimsley who fight for the lives and have a workman like mentality. Yeah, that's, you know, exactly like I said, the resilience, you know, we're not going to put our heads down when things aren't going our way, we're just going to keep battling until we can try and put things right. It's been a, a busy weekend, I was four points from the game, myself, just come back from international duty, how was that and how has it been adapting back to life with us? Yeah, international duty was great, um, you know, it's always a nice experience playing for your country and then playing big meaningful games, um, so... That's going well there, uh, but obviously I've got a job to do and come back here to finish the season strong. So it's been a pretty seamless transition. You know, it's it's a hundred miles an hour. There's no break or any time to rest. Um, but now I'm glad to be back. So you were heavily involved in the penalty incident. Just talk me through what sort of happened in that moment. Yeah, I was just uh, at the back post there. Obviously, it's an open goal. I think I've sort of got myself on the score sheet, but the lads clearly just fouled me at the back post, and I couldn't get a contact on it. So. Hence, obviously, the penalty and, and the red card, which I think it's obviously it is the right decision. And um, we obviously scored the pen, so yeah, buzzing. The pressure fed off when we won the penalty. Seemed to be such a long break between the penalty, the red card, then you actually taking it. What's it like in that moment? Is this sort of mind games going on, or do you keep on course? Yeah, I don't know really. Um, not changing your mind is the main main thing of when well, obviously you got time to think. It's easy to get you get distracted and look elsewhere and see what everyone else is doing, see what the referee's doing, uh, listen to the shouts from behind from the opposition players and now you've just got to keep yourself composed, don't change your mind and just keep focused and keep relaxed. So Saturday's the next game, what's this week going to look like now? Is it just back to the training ground work side you can? Yeah, yeah it's just we're still still trying to fight for every point that there is this season and um, still trying to finish the season in a positive way, uh, positive as possible. So um, yeah, back to the training ground, work on work on a few things, obviously, ready for the next challenge ahead. Yeah, it's always hard work on, you know, it's a quick turnaround in this league always, you know, we've got five matches to go in a short space of time, so we're going to have to do everything we can to stay in the right condition and then, you know, go on the corners and try and win a game. Yeah, definitely. As I say, Friday is such, it's probably a more disappointing today and a letdown today um, for ourselves and, and, and even the travelling fans. It's just try to find that consistency and another says early on um, probably sums up our season. Um, like we're just up and down all the time and, and to be successful um, you probably aren't going to gonna achieve that with with some of the performances we've had this season. Um, 
So again, something that we need to work on and, and sort of address. And we have five obviously big games now uh, to finish the season and then looking to next season. Um, it's probably something that we, we need to work on. Perfect. Cheers, Brad. Cheers. Thank you.